Now let's take a quick tour of the relevant standards that govern the chip-to-chip -chip links in such systems. In very simple general terms, OIF Common Electrical Interface or CEI standards govern many of the links on a board, whereas IEEE standards are more prevalent for links between boards. Standards for links between co-packaged dies are still emerging, but they're increasingly desired to enable an open market for interoperable chiplets. And when designing an overall system like this, everything is simplified when all the links run at comparable per lane data rates. So for example, if everything's running at 100 gigabit per second per lane or 200 gigabit per second per lane, if you have to transition between, between different rates, that's generally going to require more sophisticated silicon somewhere in the system, more cost, more power. Generally, the progress from one data rate to another is dictated by progress in the switch silicon, the most complex ASICs in such networks. So for example, you can imagine a couple of different options for a 51.2 terabit per second switch. That switch ASIC could have 512 100 gigabit per second links. And in that case, you would have CEI standards at 112 gigabits per second combined with one or, or another ethernet standards that operate at 100 gigabit per second per lane. A few examples are listed here. So in a system like that, you would have 100 gigabit per second lane CERTES combined with boards, cables, connectors, all designed to achieve adequate signal integrity at 100 gigabit per second per lane. Another alternative would be having a switch ASIC that has 200 gigabit per second CERTES integrated into it, in which case it would only require 256 lanes. In that case, we'd be relying on CEI standards at 224 gig and Ethernet standards at 200 gig per lane, a few examples of which are shown here. And in this case, everything in the system would have to be upgraded to be compatible with 200 gig per lane.